Good afternoon. Hello, I'm turning the camera on. There's a very wheely body around, so be careful. It is Friday morning. I was convinced yesterday was Friday all day, so I woke up thinking it was Saturday. But today's Friday. Bruce and Gemma are about to head off to Edinburgh to the insulin pump show. They're going to learn about that today. And Bodie wants to go. But they said specifically not to get bring little children because I want to go as well. But I'll stay with Bodie and Bruce will do the, the understanding for us all. It is day 681 of Dancing Every Single Day on YouTube. Of raising the energy. It is the 11th of November. 11-11 portal day. And day 315 of this year. <coughs> Happy her, Buddy. Hello, Buddy. <coughs> she was, but you're fine now, aren't you? You don't want to go to a pump show. This is pump show. A pump show. I want to. Well, I want to go too, but we're not allowed, so. But we like schools that. Well, it's not that kind of show. It'll be a very boring show for you. But for Gemma, it's all about diabetes. It's very important for Gemma. She has to decide whether she wants to get an insulin pump put inside her. I don't know. Well, that's what the show's about. That's what you're missing. All right, you better go. Yeah. <laughs> Mom, you you bring Buddy. Look after a pet unicorn. I will. All right. And dragons and hamsters and guinea pigs. Yeah, Buddy's on pet patrol. Okay. Yeah. Bye. Oh. <laughs> And he's coming with me too, so. I just randomly grabbed. Maybe you. Okay. okay. Nice small Here. toy. Yep, nice. Alright, get in the car. Can you go? No, big bears. Bruce is trying to calm Bodhi down. Oh dear, she likes me out. <laughs> Put your belt on. Found a way to cheer Bodie up. We've got some learning going on. So I was doing some phonic games, but Bodie wanted to do some maths. I, no, he doesn't. I don't want to do maths. Okay, he wanted to work with numbers, but it's just maths. Which math one do I need to find? Who Seventeen. Find the number fourteen. There's no fourteen, that though. You look for it. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Number 19. <laughs> oh, too slow. Find it again. <laughs> Good job. That's the one. You got it? I found it. I I made a limo. Down, that's it, gotta try and catch it. Good job. So, we are off to Edinburgh to an insulin pump show. Gemma has been selected as being eligible to get a, an insulin pump. I think it's next March if it is the direction that she wants to go in. Um, how are you feeling about an insulin pump, Gemma? Meh. Meh. There's kind of good things and seemingly not so good things about it. Well, that's what we're going to find out. There must be drawbacks. I mean, some of the advantages are that you don't have to have six injections a day. Bodhi took the opportunity to go outside and have some fun. Well, 
certainly are. That is a muddy puddle. Booty came in from the garden with a sore leg, didn't you? Oh my goodness, she fell and hurt herself and gave herself a scrape down her wee leg. But all good now, all nice and changed and warm and making lunch. We've been watching my story while we're having lunch, going back what, going back a hundred years and going to Scotland Street School. That's around the corner from my old school, it looks just like my school. I went to Scotland Street School when I was young. We've got the most amazing view out here. How pretty is that? All right, so we're not going to be making raw cheesecake today, Bodhi, I'm afraid. We don't have all the ingredients, not the ingredients here for that. Make sure it's properly in, and then I'm going to just put it in the back. How was that? How does that feel? I don't know what. Well, I don't think it was too bad because you're smiling and laughing. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> was it sore? Was it more sore than getting one of your sort of injections that's kind of bad? You know what I mean? When you get an injection of insulin, yeah, and you can yeah, really feel less it. Less sore. Less sore than that. Yeah. So hopefully, if you were one of the, most people that does, you were one of the people who that was okay for three days, you would need to get that done once every three days. So that might be twice a week as opposed to five and ten, five and five, six times a day. Yeah, so, well, six times a day, currently. So yeah, and that's, and that's one of the big advantages that I see as well. Oh. Baby eggs off down the stairs by himself. That's all made in it. Try it. You. You have all the letters down here. U V W. You see the letters? It's the done W. X is the next. What's that one? Y and. You did, well, well done. That make? You made a big alphabet pipe. So we're back in the car and uh, Gemma has a hot chocolate. Or coffee. Or some hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. Came back out and you were what, 5.8? Yeah. Which is perfect. So, because we kind of did um, did lunch on the run. Well, we parked the car up where we are at the moment in Marchmont. That's the idea. That's why it's called hot chocolate. Otherwise, it would just be called chocolate milk. Um, which you do get as well, that's right. So yes, we arrived about 10-15 uh, minutes before the thing started. Gemma still hadn't had lunch and it was going to be a two hour show, so there was no chance that she was going to have lunch in that time. Uh, and so we dived across to the sort of convenience store that's over there. Um, picked up a sandwich, some Jaffa cakes juice, and we, uh, yeah, we had that quickly and then dived over to where the, the hospital is and we were a couple of minutes late but better a couple of minutes late than somebody getting very hungry and grumbly um, and yeah so Gemma might have seen in the, the small bit of video uh, just before this that uh, Gemma's got one of the the pump needle type tubes uh, in her at the moment and is testing it out just to have it in her for 24 48 hours uh, and just see how comfortable or uncomfortable and just kind of live life for the next uh, couple of days with that in it's closed off so that nothing can obviously go in either and uh, yeah see how she gets on with that so I'm pretty excited because when we were in there initially she was definitely not for you definitely weren't for having a look at it even Never mind, never mind actually getting it put in, but once everybody kind of went away, I think you felt a little bit more comfortable, didn't you? And the nurse asked you if you wanted to have, have a try, and you said, yeah. And so I have it in me right now, and it's very, I can't feel it. You can't feel it, and I think that's kind of an important thing. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how it goes for the next couple of days, and then I think we'll have a, a chat and uh, decide whether we want to go ahead. Uh, 
I would say that there are definitely lifestyle advantages to using the pump. Um, if Gemma gets into sort of more high contact, uh, you know, contact sports or um, sort of endurance type, you know, swimming, that type of thing, then maybe we need to, you know, that just requires a different type of management. Um, there's a couple of sort of uh, indicators of warnings and cautionaries when using the pump. Um, and certainly setting it up in the first sort of few weeks, there's definitely... Are we going to set the pump up? Before you do anything else, these cups fit in this hole perfectly. Perfect! That means it gets to sit there on the way home. And you don't have to keep holding it in your hands. Awesome! Isn't that handy? Um, so, ketoacidosis. Ketones can uh, increase a lot more rapidly when on the pump. So there's different ways of kind of managing... Uh, that but really you know knowledge is still very limited um, I certainly know more than I did when I went in as in I know more coming out than I did when I went in and uh, yeah I, I mm, we'll need to sit and have a talk I think I'm for it but not I'm certainly not going to be pushing for it that's that's definitely a, a step that uh, little miss in the back there will decide ultimately for herself um, and it seems that you know she could try it out for a period of time maybe a couple of months or so and if it really seems to not be conducive to life for her then we come back out um, so anyway that was cool I'm glad that we went I thought uh, part way through I thought it was gonna be a bit of a tough mission to keep Gemma engaged but you picked back up at the end and some of the kids came around and talked to you as well didn't they and we're just kind of um, yep that's right, well they're brothers, and they're both one, type 1 diabetics, so... One, one, one was younger than me, the other one was older than me. Yeah, the older one was about 11, he's had diabetes since he was 7, the other one's under 3, um, and has diabetes, both type 1. Um, the younger one, because he's under 3, is prioritised to get a pump, and uh, yeah, he kind of has it around, you know, sort of the upper buttock area, just at the base of the back, which is where Gemma's got hers in at the moment, um, and seems to get on absolutely fine with it. Um, so yeah, it just, you know, that was nice to see just a variety of ages uh, in attendance as well and that they also came over and kind of spoke to having BB-8 on site with her, uh, I think helped to engage a couple of others as well because they're like, oh, that's a big BB-8 toy and I like so BB-8 and then that kind of got them started when, talking when about... When we were walking by, Yes, I tried some. There was another kid. Yeah, there's well, another kid that called it like, R2D2. R2 R2 and the dad's like, no, that's BB8. Yeah, <laughs> so oh, that's kind of good. Yes. The parents are still correcting the kids, still schooling the kids on Star Wars. I, 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 I overheard that and was like, uh, yeah, I had the same thing. Yep. So we're going to go home and see Mummy and Bodhi and some dinner and a dance and all that kind of stuff. For the evening time, I'm looking forward to it being Friday night uh, because it means I've not got any. Well, I was going to say I've not got any work to do tonight. I do, um, but I don't know that I want to do it tonight. It's been it's been a, a tough wee while, so as in just kind of worky work work, um, which is good because it's been one of our best uh, business weeks. And I had five cars out in the road yesterday, which is the first time and whole time I've had the business. So that was that was really exciting. Um, and uh, yeah, looking forward to looking forward to keeping that train going and uh, having five cars out in the road permanently. So that's my my thing. So yeah, maybe take a night off. I woke up feeling a bit harsh this morning. Uh, it was just energetically very rough. Um, so yeah, see how that goes. Anyway, homeward. And we are home. We are back in Bathgate and uh, we'll go into the house and see what's happening with Mummy and Bodhi. You ready to go, Gemma? Huh? huh? I'm saying we're home. It's time to, oh, look, there's a Bodhi at the door. Okay, we're going in. 
Bruce and um, Gemma are back. Woody went rushing out. She has missed them. Hello. Hello. <laughs> the night just see you in the vlog. Oh, you vlog. Excellent. <laughs> How did you get on, Gemma? I'm tired. I'm tired. Is it a long afternoon? Okay, yeah. Did something happen? Tell you what. You got something in your body just now. Gemma yeah. has something in her body just now. Okay. Well, I'm sure we'll catch it in your part of the vlog then. So I'm going to turn you off and I'm going to catch up myself because I don't know. Alright, I've just been getting the low down in the pump. Hello, we're going to get a blood sugar reading from Gemma and we're going to get some dinner into you both. Oh, it's dinner time. And then we're going to dance. Woo! And I've got a pen. And I've got a pen. 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 i Right, we are trying to organise a space for dancing. Booty the hoop over there. And Gemma just being Gemma. I'm looking for a track. I will see you all right. 681. Let's see what we come up with today. Welcome. Any suggestions are great. And welcome. Yes, fancy upbeat things. Yeah, bit of a beat, family Hello. friendly. Hey. Day 681 with the wee clan Torrance. We are here every single day dancing and raising the energy because what else do you like to do in this life apart from raise the magic, all right? And we're doing it the simplest way we could possibly do it. In our living room, dancing every single day and sharing the love with you. All right, you're welcome to join us every single day. Check out our channel on YouTube. You can subscribe to us there and catch us every single day. Leave a comment on this video. Say hello to us. That would be awesome to say hello to you. See who's watching our videos and subscribe no, and like so, because that would be really good place to see them. Oh my goodness. All right. Are you ready to let it all hang out today? Let's do it. Let's raise some magic. Preach, my dear friends, you're about to receive on John Barleycorn, nicotine, the temptations of Eve. Friday evening. Hope you enjoy this whenever you watch it. Lots of love to you out there. We love to see you. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Alright, that was Gemma's instant alarm going off through our song there. And I just said to Bruce as well, it's going to go off through the song, isn't it? Yeah. And it did. Switch off. Oh well. These things happen. Not so much with an insulin pump, so. We'll no. see. You. No. No, although there's lots of blood sugar checks. Alright, so we're going to have some delicious noodly ramen. Thank you very much. Bruce, I've been editing away because we have a special meditation tonight for the 1111 portal. So if you're into energy stuff, check that out. There's lots going on. There's lots of magic in the air. And um, be part of the cosmic life. All right, we're going to be. <laughs> and yeah, we're going to have some dinner. We're going to get the girls to bed. It's all going to be wonderful. <laughs> Gives Gemma some insulin first. All right, we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you for being here. Lots of love. What a big vlog it was today.